Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows an extra uterine pregnancy, ectopic pregnancy, in the right ovary. Ovarian pregnancy with a fetus having fetal demise. You can see the uterus and uterine cavity is empty. There is no sign of pregnancy inside this uterus. No embryo is seen. The, a significant amount of fluid is seen in the cul-de-sac. You can see the fluid. This is the fluid in the cul-de-sac, inflammatory fluid. Ovarian pregnancy refers to an ectopic pregnancy that is located in the ovary. Typically, the eggs egg cell is not released or picked up at ovulation but fertilized within the ovary where the pregnancy implants such a pregnancy usually doesn't proceed past four first four weeks of pregnancy the pouch of douglas or rectovaginal septum is the space between the rectum and the uterus this is the lowest part of the abdominal cavity and you can see a significant amount of fluid in this case in the cul-de-sac. Now you can see both the ovaries. ovaries. This is the right ovary and it has fluid in its interior where the left ovary is ecomaconormal and inside this fluid a small embryo is visible but there is no sign of Fetal cardiac activity, the fetus is not alive. The female pelvis is a complex and ever-changing area of human body and the pouch of Douglas is a particular area of, of contrasts, also known as cul-de-sac. The pouch of Douglas exists between the uterus and the rectum and the most dependent area of the pelvis where fluid pools as you can see in this case. Now you can see a small embryo in the right ovary. This is the embryo or fetus. No blood flow is seen in this fetus. So the, a small amount of fluid in the cul-de-sac is normal and usually is of not concern. If the fluid sample shows signs of pus or blood, the area may need to be drained. Sometimes blood can be as a result of ruptured ovary or sign of ectopic pregnancy. As you can see, the fluid is seen in this case. Just 1 to 2 percent of all pregnancies are ectopic and 95% of these cases the egg is fertilized in the fallopian tube on its way to the uterus in half of these cases including this one the baby grows inside the ovary itself so the ectopic pregnancy is the implantation of the concept conceptus outside the normal uterine cavity site. Many factors are implicated in the development of ectopic pregnancy. If the ectopic is ruptured, the patient may present with signs of shock with an ectopic. No evidence of interuterine pregnancy would be noted on ultrasonography, as you can see in this case also. So the ectopic pregnancy is the implantation of fertilized egg in an abnormal location. In an ectopic pregnancy, the fetus cannot survive. When the ectopic pregnancy ruptures, women often have abdominal pain and vaginal bleeding, which if not treated can be fatal. If the fertilized eggs continues to grow in the fallopian tube, 
it can cause the tubes to rupture heavy bleeding inside the abdomen follows usually symptoms of this life threatening event include extreme life threat light headedness fainting severe abdominal pain and shock most ectopic pregnancies can be detected using a pelvic examination ultrasound and blood tests a pregnancy in the uterus is visible 6 weeks after the last menstrual period but with an advanced ultrasound machine it could be seen as earlier ectopic pregnancy should be suspected if there are no signs of embryo or fetus in the uterus as expected but hcg levels are elevated or rising pregnancy causes a lot of changes to the body some of these changes can cause mild discomfort or light cramping in the area around ovaries only pain may cause ovary pain may cause pain on one side of the lower abdominal lower abdomen or pelvic area any serious ovary pain should be reported to the doctor typical symptoms of ovarian pregnancy are abdominal pain and to a lesser degree vaginal bleeding during pregnancy patients may present with hypovolemia or be in the circulatory shock because of internal bleeding so this condition which uh, the conditions which are more most commonly confused with an ectopic ovarian pregnancy both clinically and pathologically are ruptured hemorrhagic corpus luteum cyst chocolate cyst or a ruptured distal tubal ectopic pregnancy even then it can be mistaken for a hemorrhagic corpus luteum or an ovarian cyst the egg attaches in the uterus and starts to grow but in an ectopic pregnancy fertilized egg, egg attaches or implants some place other than the uterus most often the fallopian tube in rare cases the egg, egg plants in the ovary the cervix and the belly there are no way to save an ectopic pregnancy in in a normal pregnancy hcg level doubles every 48 to 72 hours until it it reaches 10 to 20000 in ectopic pregnancies the hcg level usually increases less mean serum hcg level are lower in ectopic pregnancies than in the healthy pregnancies so the no single serum hcg level is diagnostic of ectopic pregnancy you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks